The Arizona Cardinals are in a very bad spot heading into this season. The Cardinals have one of the worst rosters in the league, and there aren't that many positives. Plus, who knows when Kyler Murray is going to be back from his torn ACL. The Cardinals have a new head coach, Jonathan Gannon, and he certainly has his work cut out for him. Arizona is coming off of a pretty busy draft, where they originally held the third overall pick, but decided to trade down and ultimately ended up at six, where the Cardinals selected offensive tackle Paris Johnson Jr. Paris Johnson Jr. had an incredible junior year at Ohio State. He played left tackle last season and was named a consensus All-American. Johnson was always a beast on the football field. After all, it's in his blood. His dad, Paris Johnson Sr., was drafted in the fifth round by the Cardinals in 1990 but he never played a snap in the league. That won't be the case for his son, though. Paris Johnson Jr. has dominated at every level. He was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, and went to St. Xavier High School before he transferred to Princeton High School in Sharonville. He won the Anthony Munoz Award as a senior, given to the best lineman in the country. Johnson was a five-star recruit, the best offensive tackle in the 2020 class, and the eighth best player overall. All. He played in just five games as a freshman before starting every game at guard in 2021. Johnson then made the move to tackle, where he will likely play in the pros. The Cardinals line is pretty bad. But I think Johnson is pretty raw and needs some time to develop, but what do I know? Arizona has a lot of needs and tried to address some at the draft. The Cardinals did lose three of their top pass rushers this offseason, which is a huge reason why Arizona used a second rounder on BJ Ojolari. If his name sounds familiar, it's because his brother, Aziz Ojolari, was a Giants second round pick last year after his time at Georgia. Meanwhile, while at LSU, BJ Ojolari was a beast. He spent three years in Baton Rouge, and his best came as a junior. He was first team all SEC last season after he had 58 tackles, five and a half sacks, and eight and a half tackles for loss. There is a serious shot he's a week one starter for the Cardinals, and it will be interesting to see if that will be the case or not for cornerback Garrett Williams. He was a third round pick to the Cardinals after he spent spent four years at Syracuse. He redshirted his first season, and he went on to record 152 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, and four interceptions in his time at SU. He is still rehabbing a torn ACL he suffered in October, but there is a chance that Williams could be good for week one. Arizona ended up using their last day two pick of the draft on offense, selecting wide receiver Michael Wilson. Wilson spent five years at Stanford, and the best season of his collegiate career came as a sophomore when he had 672 yards and five touchdowns on 56 receptions, all of which were career highs. He used his extra COVID year to return in 2022, but he suffered a season-ending injury and only played in six games. Wilson had 26 catches for 418 yards and four touchdowns before he got hurt. Injuries are a serious concern for Wilson. He had a foot injury that lasted two years before he dealt with a collarbone issue last season. The Cardinals already have enough injuries to deal with, specifically at quarterback, which may be why they used a fifth round pick on a quarterback, Clayton Toon. Clayton Toon played at Houston for five years. He's coming off of two really good seasons. 2022 was by far the best statistical season of his collegiate career. Toon passed for 4,069 yards and 40 touchdowns to 10 interceptions with a 67.4 completion percentage. He was named first team all ACC. Toon was good the year before too. He had 3,546 yards and 30 touchdowns to 10 interceptions while completing 68.2% of his throws. He was the guy at Houston and he had a lot of success, but it did all come as an upperclassman. Coming out of high school, Toon was just a three star and the 38th best pro-style quarterback in the 2018 class. Originally, he committed to play at Kansas, but then changed his commitment to Houston. He was the backup as a true freshman behind Derek King, but did still see some play time and got two starts, 
He finished the year with almost 800 yards and eight touchdowns with two interceptions. The following season, King did return as the starter, but then about midway through the season, Derek King decided to sit out. Toon got some starts and finished the year with 1,533 yards and 11 touchdowns to nine interceptions while completing 59.2% of his passes. The next season was that weird COVID year. Houston only played in eight games, but Toon did start every single one. He completed 59.6% of his throws for 2,000 yards and 15 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Clayton Toon clearly turned into a pretty good collegiate quarterback, but it's going to be interesting to see if he ends up with any playtime at all as a rookie, and I doubt it. The Cardinals' week one starter behind center is probably going to be Colt McCoy. He is a 13-year veteran and has started three games for the Cardinals in each of the past two seasons and will likely start for a while in 2023 while Kyler Murray continues to rehab from a torn ACL. He went down in week 14 last season and it may be a bit until he's ready to go. He is coming off of a rough year where he had just 14 touchdowns to seven interceptions with 2,368 yards and a 66.4 completion percentage. It was a very, very big downturn from 2021 when Murray had the best statistical season of his career. He completed 69.2% of his throws with 3,787 yards and 24 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Murray went 9-5 and five starting and the Cardinals were 11-6 and six overall. That was good enough for Arizona to give Murray a massive five-year, $230.5 million extension with $160 million guaranteed. I have to think the Cardinals have some regret now. The Cardinals did also fire Cliff Kingsbury after a terrible 4-13 season in 2022, what was his fourth year as the head coach. He couldn't get it done, and Arizona decided to move on to Jonathan Gannon. Now, Gannon was the Eagles defensive coordinator for the past two seasons before taking the job as the next Cardinals head coach. That Philadelphia defense was clearly very good under Gannon, especially last season. He has been coaching for two decades and will finally get his chance as a head coach, whether it's for better or for worse. He has a real train wreck in Arizona he now has to sort out before the Cardinals can get anywhere close to competing. The Cardinals are already a pretty bad team, but life might be rough in the NFC West. I have to imagine that the San Francisco 49ers are going to win the division and be good again. There is a lot of questions surrounding quarterback and the health of Brock Purdy. Maybe Trey Lance gets the starting role, but the 49ers also signed Sam Darnold for a reason. Regardless, San Francisco is expected to win the division. The Seattle Seahawks were a very good team last year. They traded away Russell Wilson and were supposed to be pretty bad, but that wasn't the case. Geno Smith was great and helped the Seahawks make the postseason. He got a new contract this offseason and Seattle could be good again. That leaves the Los Angeles Rams, who seem to be a bit of a mystery. The Rams won the Super Bowl two seasons ago, but last year they sucked. Los Angeles went 5-12. It was the worst title defense in NFL history, but a lot of that was due to injuries. Matthew Stafford is back, but how healthy is he? The Rams are expected to be a middle-of-the-pack team that could make some noise, but that's still expected to put them third in the division, according to Vegas. Meanwhile, the Cardinals are viewed much, much worse, and that's fair. The future looks very bleak in Arizona. They have a bad team and a lot of problems. Kyler Murray has not lived up to expectations, and the Cardinals need him to because they've already given him $230.5 million. Now, you add in a torn ACL, and the Cardinals are in a bit of a nightmare of a situation. Moving on from Cliff Kingsbury was the correct decision, but I don't really like the Jonathan Gannon hire. I don't have a lot of confidence in where the team is headed at all. The Cardinals have a ton of problems. I don't think Kyler Murray is the answer at quarterback, and I have little faith in Jonathan Gannon. Maybe I'm too pessimistic, but the Cardinals suck.